All right, what's up, guys? Belton here. Um, about to do a bit of a quote-unquote uh, gamble. Um, I say quote-unquote gamble because uh, this is one wherein we've calculated a net positive uh, outcome uh, on expected value. Uh, the way I would differentiate that is uh, it's like going into a casino is gambling, but being a casino is not, you know? The house always wins as a matter of mathematical certainty because things are weighed to their favor. So we've taken a situation here <clears throat> where we've kind of stacked the deck in our favor, um, essentially using economies of scale. Uh, so what I mean by that in short is uh, the more you do of something, the more profitable it becomes. Uh, <clears throat> now you can see the items we're using here are quite expensive in of themselves. Um, and that risk aversion on an individual basis is typically why people avoid this. However, if you can get the capital up front, to do this en masse, um, you can have uh, some pretty uh, crazy outcomes. So we'll just take a look here. Um, and I can show you what the uh, average expected outcome is from this situation. Um, so you can see here that we've got, uh, what is that? Seven uh, awakened enlightens, uh, five awakened enhances, sorry, six awakened enhances, uh, and 12 squires, uh, as well as 12, or sorry, 13, uh, sorry, 13 squires. 13 Chronicles that have both Dorianis and Locusts, allowing for double corruption of both the gems and of the uh, items, that, or the shields. <clears throat> um, so you can see here, uh, without going into it too much depth, uh, our total spend was um, 649 Divines, basically exactly two mirrors. Uh, and the expected uh, outcome, uh, based on probabilities, uh, is 1160 Divines for a profit of 541 Divines on average or a 1.66 mirror uh, profit. Um, myself and a guildmate, uh, Desi, are both splitting this, so we both put up half the cost, uh, purchase all these things together, and uh, we're gonna uh, see how it goes here. Um, happens to be my birthday as well, so hopefully we get some luck. Uh, figured this might be kind of a fun thing to do. Uh, there are some little uh, notes to be made here in terms of crafting tech, uh, so I'll go over that real quick. With the gems, uh, what we did here, first of all, um, obviously you could actually farm these, but that would take forever. So these were just purchased typically at level one because they're cheaper. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, in, in past leagues, you would have had to use the, um, fasteners, uh, through the harvest or, you know, prior to it, prior to it being put through harvest, um, just using fasteners lenses or having to run them through five ways. However, with this league, they added a beast craft, um, the wild, uh, what's it called here? Sorry. The Wild Bramblejack that allows you to increase the level of non-corrupted Awakened Gem by one. So, real simple to do. These are super cheap, about 20 chaos each. Um, so, in, in the total scheme, grand scheme of things, pretty much a negligible cost. But uh, you can see here, all you do, so this one's level two. Okay, now it's level three. And level four. So this is what we did for all of them here. Um, you know, with 13 gems total, uh, times three, 39. So 39 to 20, 780. It only costs three divines to level these. Um, if you really are risk averse, uh, you can actually just level these from one to four by doing this and then sell them for a few divines extra, um, especially if you bulk sell them. Yesterday, actually, I bought five uh, Awakened Enlightens at level one for 50 divines. I leveled them to four, and then I sold all five of them for 275 divines. So 55 divines each. So I made 25 divines simply by uh, killing a beast um, 15 times. Uh, however, obviously today uh, our uh, goal is not to do that. Now the next uh, the next thing we're going to do here is with the squires. Uh, obviously, we're trying to double corrupt these squires. A great target for this. Shields uh, obviously have uh, quite a few good implicits. Uh, the one we're going for here, though, obviously is plus one gems. Um, and with the Squire specifically, it already has three white sockets. The implicit on it is pretty trash. Um, and as well, uh, there's a divination card for it. And why this is important, you'll see that these are item level two. And you can do this with a variety of different things. But the way that we get that <clears throat> um, is we go on to a low level character. You just go kill Hillock. Uh, and since uh, you can now do divination card turn ins in the hideout, back in the day, you used to have to go to Act 4 to do this. It's very easy to do now. Just make a level 2 character, go to town, and then you take any card that gives a unique item. 
because uniques obviously that their modifiers are locked in regardless of the item level of that item uh you can uh distort the item level and the reason why that's uh, is significant is because the item level of uniques will still uh impact the vol implicits if you are to corrupt them so you see here we've got a squire trade divination cards turn it in and item level two uh and look at that one divine and it's a perfect roll <sighs> so um because it's item level two, it's always going to match your character's level. So this is a character who is level two. Uh, it'll go up to level 80. Now I can show you here on Craft of Exile. We can take a look on the Vol Implicits here. And you can see that there are quite a few of them. However, you notice that these ones have item level requirements. Right? And so if you look at the ones that are item level requirement 1, which are the only ones we're going to be hitting since it's item level 2, your only options are chance to block, plus 1 gems, life, ES, and block spell damage. Uh, <clears throat> the, the block ones, as well as the plus 1 gems, life and ES are very generic, uh, but they're, quite frankly, some of the best ones you can get, period. So um, really, really good uh, base to do this tech on. Uh, as well, you can do it on chests, uh, as another example, shavs for, uh, or, you know, ferals fur. Uh, plus one gems is always a item level one requirement. So, you can see here there's 23 different implicits, but we narrow the field down to five, simply by turning it in a low item level, which means that when we double corrupt it, uh, if we get two implicits, we have a 40% chance of hitting plus one gems. Um, since only one in four will have implicits, uh, it's going to take us roughly 10, 10 uh, shields on average, However, at 16 divines a shield, um, that means it's 160 divines, whereas the uh, plus one gems will sell for over a mirror, which is 325, 350 divines by itself. So, uh, not to mention the fact you get to sell them. The one downside of double corrupting is that uh, if you just use a vol orb, there's only a 25% chance for the item to get destroyed when it turns rare. However, with uh, double corruptions, it can it can poof, or it can go uh, to a two influence rare and so 50% chance uh, you have a complete loss. Um, however, because the squire again is a uh, is a uh, a base that ha already has white sockets um, and it has a bad implicit and there's no modifications that would need to be taken thereafter, uh, there's no actual loss for the ones that have no effect. Uh, you're going to be able to see it, be able to sell them for the exact same cost. So uh, that's the preamble here. Um, got that out of the way. So. That's how we got these gems, and that is how we got these shields. And um, now it's uh, it's time to get down to it. It's not necessary to quality these uh, uh, because of uh, the uh, painted currency. However, just a old habit, I suppose. Anyways, um, so let's get started here. So uh, let's see. Should we start with? Fuck it. Let's start with the expensive guys first. We'll throw out. Uh, We'll do four Awakened Enlightens. And let's go with our big boys. Eight fives. Oh, let's take two to begin. Alright, wish us luck, boys. Actually, I brought this hat out specifically for the situation. It says Live Lucky on the inside. And it's got the four leaf clothing. I've been telling myself for years this hat would help me get lucky. Hasn't yet. In PoE? Maybe though. Good luck, good luck, thank you boys.
No effect. Well, sorry, it gave plus quality, but for the purposes of what we're going for, no effect. And goodbye. We should probably be killing the boss here, but just for the purposes of this video. Bang him out a little bit quicker. Twenty divines, boys. Let's go. Let's go. No effect. Could have been white sockets. We'll never know. Ooh, a 6 3. What's that doing here? Cool. Right, I just noticed how loud the uh, in-game volume was on stream there. No effect.
Ooh. I'm gonna have to re level that. Unlucky templates, all right. Again, <clears throat> the the whole idea here is that you know if you're just doing one of these or two of these, you know, you're gonna fall victim to variants, right? Um, whereas if we uh, if we do enough of them, uh, you know, we can have a much more calculable. Uh, and predictable outcome. Uh, one we're in, we stack the deck in our favor, basically, right? Um, the best analogy I can give is imagine if somebody offered you three to one odds uh, on a coin flip, right? So that being that if you bet $10 and you were correct, you would get paid $30 back. Uh, assuming the coin is equally weighted, um, if you were to guess heads every time and the first four coin flips went tailed, it doesn't mean that you're making a bad decision. It just means you're getting unlucky. And as a matter of mathematical certainty, if you were to continue that bet over and over and over and over, uh, you would come out ahead by a 50% profit margin uh, because of the weighting and the favorability of it. Uh, in that spirit, we approach these. So uh, it is frustrating when you get unlucky, uh, especially when it's something quite expensive like this. Um, at the same time, though, um, again, it's a calculated risk uh, and one I'm very uh, happy to take. And then that's why. 440 divines, baby. Uh, so we've made about a mirror, over a mirror already. Past 15 minutes. Despite my lack of reaction, I, I, I don't want to make it seem like I'm jaded. I love this game. <laughs> I'm super stoked. Just, just trying to focus here. Uh, um, but, uh, yeah, man, uh, great outcome. Since we're at the boss room, I'll kill him. Um, it's worth mentioning, too, I'm in, uh, five pieces of self-crafted mirror here. Uh, mirror tier, mirror tier. The gear I'm wearing has been mirrored about 40 or 50 times, cumulatively, so... We should be able to kill Temple, I think. <laughs> Classic benchmark.
Um, yeah, with respect to the Enlightens, these are by far the most important element to this. The Squires are only 16 Divines each. I shouldn't say only, but relative to the other things, uh, quite inexpensive. Whereas the Enlightens are 50 Divines each, right? Um, so if you brick a Squire, it's not, you know, if you, by getting a plus one on the Awakened and Enlightened, uh, that could pay for, that pays for literally every single one of the Squires. Um, in fact, I actually have mirror gear that's sitting in my stash. <laughs> Well, there's a couple projects we're working on. Anyways, I'll cover that another time. For the sake of the video, let's get back down to it. Uh, I do want to make all of these 8 percenters, though. Four Divines is shitty to spend on that. Hmm. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What the fuck? That took twelve divines. <laughs> Christ. Alright. Let's do these eight fivers first. There's nothing worse though than hitting a perfect corruption. Right? Like you're you're talking about a multiple mirror corruption. And uh, you have it on a base that is missing. You know what I mean? Uh, the eight percent is, even though it's a small, very nominal difference uh, in actual character power, it's similar to crafting mirror items, right? It's like the the functional difference between tier two and tier one is nil in most situations. Uh, but at the same time, it can be the difference between hundreds of divines, or frankly, your item being mirrored or your item not being mirrored. Uh, and since we're pr playing high stakes here, I did just spend about 30 divines divining those, but um, sometimes you got to eat those costs if you want to have the cream of the crop. The cream of the crop, I rise to the top. I never eat a pig because a pig is a cop. All right. So no, no luck on the shields yet, uh, but we do. We have hit two of the enlightens. Uh, and again, the shields are about a one in ten. Um, so it, you know, it's not. We're we're not getting unlucky on the shields, right? The uh, the enlightens and the gem corrupting in general. Uh, fuck sakes. Uh, is uh, it's it's about a one in four. Um, when you double crit. One sec, someone just knocked on my door. I'm in the middle of a video of last year. Come in, but just give me a minute here. It's the boy. Young Wolf Kane. Sorry, guys. Um, gotta get back to this real quick. You look nice, bud. Thanks. So, yeah, no luck on the shields yet. Uh, gems to... How many? Is this the last one? Yeah, lost to seven. In fact, I think I'm wearing your hat, Willie. Fuck. It is. Yes! Dude! <laughs> yo! <laughs> oh my god, that, yo. Shout out to the boy, Will. <laughs> Greetings and salutations. Dude, did you guys see that? Look what we just hit. Oh, that's literally perfect.
and it's on an 8-5. What did I tell you guys? That's why I just wasted those divines. Not wasted. That's why I just spent those divines. Oh. Chris. God damn it. It's tough being right all the time, but it's a rule I, I just fulfill. Also, I think, uh, I think for my boy who just came in, there's a bit of cognitive dissonance here. He's one of the original smoking darts and breaking hearts crew, but I, th I think this is a, a little out of character for the kid. Oh, you're a vapor now, eh? Yeah. <laughs> he let go, baby. <laughs> Dude, will we just? <laughs> Dude, we just made, guys, we just made two mirrors in five minutes. <laughs> Man. Oh. What a rush. What a rush. All right, boys, we're making some fuck you money today. Can't wait to post this to Reddit. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Relatable league experiences. Sorry, Willie, this is going to take me probably 10 more minutes, but... Yeah, I can take a break after. This is like a, this is recording for a YouTube video. Uh, it's like a guide uh, to do this, which is going quite well. Uh, but I can't uh, break in the middle of it. These are obvious. So it's your birthday. Did they know it's my birthday? Of course they know it's my birthday. Two things you can rely on James Belton for: talking about James Belton and reminding me about James Belton. <laughs> Enough about me. Let's talk about me. <laughs> Uh, enhanced level fives, there's about 70 divines each. Um, so there's two reasons. Sorry, I didn't cover this in the preamble. Uh, so obviously there's empower, enlighten, uh, enhance. Not too much of a, uh, a choice there between the three. However, the reason we did enhance and uh, enlighten uh, is actually purpose driven. Um, so it, it's roughly a one in four to hit the double corruption, right? So what we're looking for is either one where the plus one uh, is worth more than four times its its base value because obviously one in four four x um, Which is the case with uh, the enhances. So the enhances are, are uh, 14 divines each but they sell for 70 which is a 5x multiplier uh, Plus you get to sell the ones that brick right and since the bricks can go to level four um, Those actually do have some value um, So with the enhances, uh, you know one in four you're getting a five times multiplier that in of itself makes it a net profit However, you also have the sales. Uh, the enhances are not nearly as uh, popular or commonly used as uh, Empower or Enlighten, though. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. Um, and then with the Enlightens, uh, the reason why those are of greater value is because of the uh, Brick State. And there we go. Hit double, double. We just hit another Double Corrupt there, guys. Um, these are. This is not going to be as valuable, obviously. The plus one is the big major hit here. Uh, but Chance to Block and ES... Uh, we'll still probably be able to get uh, around 50 divines for that. Um, no problem. So that's 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 a double unit right there. As I mentioned, when you do get the implicit, again, a 1 in 4 chance there, um, we have a 40% chance thereafter of getting the, uh, the plus 1, obviously, which is what we're looking for. Um, but yeah, we're making like some fuck you, fuck you money here.
No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. How do I get- I hate when people pop their fucking temples like this. Michael J. Fox on an Etch-A-Sketch. Everything here on out is profit. Oh, we're already well, well, and this is uh, 660, uh, 1050. Total spend uh, for the entire thing was 649. We're already at 1050, 1100 uh, plus uh, 1150. Yeah, we're up 500 divines already. Yeah, so we yeah, have just under two mirrors profit, and we still have half the way to go. If it's corrupting tempo. Nope. I can't believe that happened though. Like what uh will when you walked in, um the thing I was aiming for, there's two separate kind of wheels in motion here, and both of them hit their absolute best possible way, which is like a uh, one of them is about a five, uh, what, a ten percent chance. The other one's twenty-five. So, one in ten times one in four. It's one in forty chance that would have happened. For you think? One in a million guys. <laughs> Oops. Twenty-eight. Yes, I, uh, I. I've heard conflict, not conflicting, but I've heard reports um, from people I consider to be reliable sources, like Iron uh, and whatnot. Uh, that's twenty-seven point six. I've heard as high as twenty-nine point six. Twenty-five is like the baseline, uh, though, and it's always good if you're doing, like, if you're if you're trying to make a, a calculated risk or looking at something from a, um, a net positive EV, right? EV being expected value. Uh, if there's conflicting data, always assume the lowest, right? And, and that way you're never going to, uh, it's, it's much better to be overprepared than under with respect to setting your expectations. Unless it's on dating apps, in which case Catfish all day, baby. Oh, and also today, aside from being my birthday, it, um, it marks one month since I was banned from uh, uh, Twitch, and they still haven't opened the appeal yet, so I know a bunch of you guys have been asking me about that, and uh, no, no news yet. From Bank County. From Bank County, yeah.
And another complicit, boys. That's got to be at least another 50 divines there. Uh, is it my true? No, no, it's my actual birthday. Uh, I was banned on... Because the reason I was banned um, on Twitch was uh, because I was having Christmas dinner with my family, right? That's why I didn't see the game crash. Uh, that was December 25th. And there we go. Level 5, bitch. I don't know why I said bitch, but... It seemed appropriate. The, uh, you know that the banner that uh, used to adorn my uh, my Twitch channel as well as the one that is it's now on the Hideout Handbook, the website, uh, where I'm in a smoking jacket and it says Belton on the banner, uh, looking rather pompous uh, per usual. Um, that that was actually from my birthday uh, a few years ago, back when I worked in nightclubs. Why did I get banned? I was, uh, I, I, I went, I, like, I, my stream when I was on Twitch would be on pretty much 24-7. Uh, for record-keeping purposes, for the guild to watch, uh, you know, mirror services. And so if I wasn't on my computer, um, I could see what was going on in the game with respect to trades or whatever by looking on my phone. Um, on Christmas, obviously, I went to go have uh, dinner with my family. I don't live with them, so, um, and obviously, you know, being with family and being with Christmas, I wasn't looking on my phone. Uh, PoE crashed when I was gone, and uh, because I always have my uh, stream on uh, screen capture so that people can see when I'm price checking and stuff like that, um, the screen capture then defaulted to uh, to Discord, and some um, enterprising young prankster thought it would be uh, funny to then spam. Uh, uh, I'm guessing what from what I was told, pornographic images. Um, Better been stepsister content, or I'll be pissed. And, uh, anyways, then they th reported me to Twitch after that <clears throat> for uh, explicit content, and I was uh, permanently banned. Belton Fest? Yeah, yeah. See. So you know I'm not lying about the birthday. There you go. Today's your birthday. And this is what the uh, banner was originally from. <laughs> funny, funny. Okay. Times they were ahead back then, boys. Times they were ahead. The guy, the guy who's just over, he's on a phone call now in my bedroom, but uh, that's like my best friend in the world. Um, him and I met in university. We almost got into a fist fight, actually. That was how we met. We were both in the same, I was in a residence at the uh, University of Western Ontario uh, called Saugeen, which at the time was like one of the top five 
I think Playboy may be one of the top five places to get laid in North America or something like that. Um, suffice it to say, it was it was a lot of fun. But uh, you know, he and I back then being young bulls, standing outside the residence right around you know Frosh Week or whatever, and got into a little bit of a beaking match and almost came to fisticuffs. But by the end of it, uh, I was kind of like, I like your style. And I, as I said, I used to uh, work in nightclubs and bars and stuff and. Had a promotion company uh, back then at university, and so I could get anyone in in our college town into any bar, really. Um, and so I invited him to come out with us because I thought, you know, I was like, I like this guy. He's like fucking, you know, he didn't, he, he, you know, he didn't back down that situation. Like I respected that, so brought him out, and you know, here we are, 15 years later, uh, lived together before, and he's a good lad. I was just telling him about uh, how we met. All right, last one here, guys. The, uh, Plus one gems with 5% block is, is literally perfect though. That's the best possible outcome you could hope for on that. While being item level restricted. And the final corruption. Unceremonious, but not a loss at least. So we, we, we hit everything we set out to hit here, guys. Um, we got the plus one gems. Uh, we got multiple in, enlightens. Um, and we got a level five enhance. Uh, if you look at my expected value chart, which I'll go over at the end here, uh, before I, uh, I'm going to jet out afterwards to spend some time with the homie. Um, but uh, it was very, very close to what uh, the expected value was. And again, the more of these you do, um, as again, using the analogy I did with the coin toss, um, you know, if you flip a coin five times, uh, you know, Get it, having it go heads four times and tails one time is not that unlikely of an event. But you flip it a thousand times, you know, those numbers become far more predictable. Now, this isn't the largest sample size ever, but it certainly is more predictable than if you were just to do a couple. Um, and that, that'll reflect here, actually, if we take a look at the numbers real quick. <clears throat> All right. So we, we can see here we got three of them. Again, we, we, we corrupted 12 shields, right? Uh, 12 shields, uh, one in four to get a double corruption. Perfectly balanced. Um, then we get uh, one in four to do nothing. Uh, we actually got kind of lucky there because uh, we got uh, one in three. And then uh, 
50% of them will be poofed or turned rare. Um, so we had five go rare, uh, or actually one poofed, four went rare, four did nothing, or went white sockets, which with Squire is the same effect, and three got implicits. Uh, namely speaking, um, it was uh, uh, this here, which was which was the big target. Um, again, we did uh, seven enlightens. I'll take it. One of them was in my backup web because it went uh, went down a level, so I thought I'd give it that experience. But just for reviewing here. Uh, yeah, we had uh, three go to level five with the enlightens, three out of seven. Um, and then with the enhances, we did uh, six total and only one of them went up. Uh, we're much luckier to have it, uh, uh, the en enlightens be uh, the one where we got, uh, you know, uh, the better side of RNG as opposed to the enhances, as these were by far most expensive element. But we'll take a look here now at the, uh, let's get rid of that. Take a look here at the expected thing. Um, you can see here with the, uh, <clears throat> for the squires, the expected value was 554. We expected uh, 3.25 rares, 3.25 poofs, 3.25 implicits, and 3.25 no effects, as you can see pretty much exactly on that. Uh, the expected value on the implicit was 500. And you can see here 1.5 mirrors uh, with another 100 on top. That is um, uh, 550. So our, our estimates read there almost exactly. Oh, yeah, see, total value 550. As I said, that was almost exact. Um, plus one gems we had. Uh, I expected only to get two of them. And again, we did get lucky here. So we got three. Um, but the expected value there was 440 uh, plus 80 for a total of 520. Uh, what was our real value? Well, we just subtract 16 and add two. So we actually made 725 divines uh, there. So you can add another 200 to the profit. So that alone actually made us about uh, 1.2 mirrors and enlightens. On the squire, uh, we made um, a little bit more than this 400. So we made about uh, 1.5 mirrors there. So about 2.7 mirrors. And the enhances, as you can see, I, I predicted only one plus one. Uh, anything else? The four, 16 divines. Um, and our profit there would have been uh, 70 uh, and then these are four that's 90 with a total spend of 84 so we actually made six there so we lost 10 so in total uh, what, what, are, what are we expecting here 80 divines um, so let's add that let's add this up quickly we got uh, 80 divines in squires uh, that did nothing uh, we got uh, 450 for the shield that did something 100 for the sh sorry for the 450 for the shield that hit plus one 100 for the two shields that double corrupted uh we're getting 660 for the enlightens that went up 70 for the enhances uh and now the level four enlightens of which we have four that'll be another 64 divines uh and then the five enhances that'll be another 20. for 1,444 divines on a spend of 649. 795 divine, 795 divines we just made there, guys. Um, so just over, just under three mirrors, 2.5 mirrors, let's say. Um, how long is that video? 49 minutes. That's a little long, but hopefully that was fun to watch. Uh, signing out here for the YouTube guys. That was a great, uh, great outcome. Although, uh, I'd like to say we were lucky, but you know, we had a game plan. We stuck to it and the uh, results, uh, I think speak for themselves. So if any of you, uh, go to pursue this, good luck in your ventures and, uh, hope that was fun to watch. Cheers guys.